Do they manufacture this stuff in Canada? Costco? Like on no, uh, like whey protein. Uh, no, nobody does it here. Mm -mm. Is there a reason? Yes. Is it the government? Uh <laughs> no, things are things are actually going, man. Um, I wouldn't say I'm like having a hard time with uh, dealing with the whole nuanced uh, retail aspect of the brand, but somewhat it's not it's not normal to me. That's the only issue that we're really kind of uh, like, are you talking about the retail side of it and having all the different outlets? Yeah. Yeah. Versus mostly online. Like what are 99% of your sales online pretty much for Canadian uh, protein? Yeah, probably. Well, probably like 90, 90, 10. Yeah. 90, 10. Oh yeah. You do it. Well, Costco. Well, fucking now. Costco. Like yeah, when you start, when you start bringing in Costco, then it's like 50, 50. Holy smokes. Maybe even more. 50%. Eh? Yeah. Dude, yeah. Cause we just got, we just got an order for September 21 million. <laughs> oh and that's man. That's for a six month span. So that's like it, wild. If they do like, if they do it again, so they go from like, they call it like their P1. So their P, P1 to P6 is like, I, I can't remember what P stands for, but um, that's like the term. And it's their, their number one starts in uh, September. So I, I think that runs till February. And then in February, uh, if the product sells well, they'll, they'll come at you again. Oh, yeah. So like yeah. period one or something, like it whatever. Probably stands for that. Yeah, it could. It could. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So the retail game is it. It, it's obviously much different than just the online sales yeah, because uh, you got to have all these different outlets and you got to ship them the product. And <laughs> yeah. then, yeah. And so. also if you don't like, can you talk about what the margins are like on a Costco sale versus online? Yeah. So Costco is, is anywhere from like 12 to 15%. 12 to, to 15 us, as well as them. And an online, it would be double that. Oh, maybe more triple. Triple online, double wow. the triple, depending on the product. Yeah, that's crazy. Now, which it must be relatively not. I don't want to say easy, but you just ship Costco the product, they sell it, right? Or are you? Yeah. Is there anything else to do? Obviously, you have to manufacture it, keep up the quality, yeah, et so, cetera, et cetera. So, but so the biggest issue is like actually being able to manufacture at that volume. Oh yeah, that's huge. Yeah, like yeah. we're we're talking like that one order is four hundred thousand units. That's a lot. <laughs> oh, like that's yeah. a lot of units, right? So. That's not only a lot of units. That's a lot of protein. That's like almost fifty truckloads of protein. Yeah, did that's you say semi fifty semi trucks full of protein? Oh my god! Last yeah. time we talked, you said there was like a shortage away too, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I couldn't even get it all at that point in time. So how'd you fix that? I fucking winged it. <laughs> like I'm not even joking. Like I had I had to like it's, we're like scrounging. Yeah, but like it's out there. You just have to you like you know our our sort our our uh, typical source is only really like. Okay, you know, I can get you twelve. This other guy, I can get you ten. This other guy, I can get you seven. And so then, the pro it together, yeah, you're yeah. piecing it together. And then, and then the other issue is that like all of, you have to make sure that that product is qualified. So then, if it tastes a little different, you got to then kind of tweak the formula because you don't want like one guy one month buying it and then going back to Costco buying it again. And then it tastes a bit different. Yeah, like that's not, not acceptable. Not right? good business. Yeah. No, it's not a good business model. So now, um, it, it, do they manufacture this stuff in Canada? Costco? Like on no, uh, like whey protein. Uh, no, nobody does it here. Mm -mm. Is there a reason? Yes. Is it the government? Uh, no, I don't think so. I, right. I um, there's just not a market for it, right? Really? Yeah, I don't think so. So, so. Um, so obviously whey comes from dairy. I, I don't think the volume of dairy farmers here in Canada is like there. It's super controlled too, isn't it? Like here in Canada, I've, I've seen and heard some things that, uh, the dairy farmers. Yeah. They, they can only produce X yeah. amount. If they go over that quota, the government makes them dump it's, it. It's like, yeah, it's really weird. Man. Yeah, and I don't know. I don't know the nuances around that, but, um, I've heard a lot of that stuff. So you got to think. So so here here's here's how this all works. You have cows. <laughs> then you have the cows that produce the or then you have the milk from the cows. Yeah, yeah. Then you have um the cheese making process. Mm -hmm. So whey comes from the cheese making process. You ever heard of like curds curds and whey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you're making cheese, the curds 
which ends up becoming the cheese, falls to the bottom of the tank. Okay. And then the whey settles at the top. It's gotcha. lighter. It's fluffy. That gets skimmed and then dried and then turned into whey protein because that particular ingredient that rises to the top of the tank is extremely high in protein. Mm. That's so so if you're making pro if you're making cheese, the byproduct of cheese is whey. Mm-hmm. Whey protein. So what happens when grocery stores, cheese manufacturers, whatever dramatically increase the price on cheese? What happens? Sales go down. So what happens when sales go down typically on a product? Uh, you don't produce as much. And people buy less. So yeah, yeah. less is produced. Shifts to the consumers. So what happened as of late, that happened. And less protein was just simply being made. Because whey protein isn't made unless cheese is being made. Right, right. Because whey protein is what? A byproduct yeah. of cheese. Or the cheese making process. So what happens when cheese isn't being made? There's less whey on the market. What happens to the price of whey protein? goes up it goes it dramatically goes up mm. what happened as of late with costco costco got sent to parliament three times apparently in the last year or so or however long about price increases oh so this is actually happening eh? oh yeah. Yeah, yeah oh yeah and uh we came back to them for our september order and and we were like hey listen like this is the price of the product now you know we have to increase the price. And they were like, sorry, we can't accept price increases. Because we've been, to, we've been to parliament three times. We're getting pressure from the government. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So they were like, basically, either you can do it or you can't. If you can't do it, we're going to put the contract or whatever you want to call it for like your protein spot out to tender again. Oh, damn. Or we're just not going to carry any way isolate until the pricing comes down. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. Now, what do you think of that whole government intervention thing on uh, grocery chains in Canada? I, I don't, obviously, you know my position on government intervention. Anytime that happens, it's not good for anybody. Um, it, like, it, it just, it kind of is what it is. Like, there's nothing I could do about it. It's either, okay, well, sorry, we can't do it, or, we shave our margin down to make it work so that we still have a placement in Costco. We're the only isolate product in the entire country in that retailer, which is amazing marketing in and of itself. We maintain the relationship. And then when it's time for the protein market to settle and things kind of like maybe even stabilize, get back to normal, normal Costco realizes that there's not a whole lot of things that we could do about, you know, like going forward, we can't not increase pricing or whatever, then um, we've maintained the relationship, we'll make back the margin. So that's the theory. Yeah, yeah. Right? And that free marketing, well, free marketing free, is, yeah. is huge too. Like It's going yeah. to, you know, there, there's, uh, their, their email blast alone is like 6 million people in the yeah, country, yeah, right? Yeah. They're, the, the presence of that product being on, in the Costco stores is huge. Yeah, it gives it legitimacy just big time in and of itself. Yeah, big yeah. time. Um so so that was kind of the plan as of late.